Welcome. Now you're all wondering about the title of this video, but I hope it will all come clear as we go through it. And we've all had to change our ways and trade has dropped off, but it's given us a lot of extra time, so time to do something new. And I thought, well, what about bookbinding? I trolled through all the YouTube videos and I found loads of them on how to make books, how to put them together, uh, how to personalise them. And I thought, this is very, very good. There's one exceptional one by a young lady called Crafty Loops, but she does have an enchanting voice, so it does make a bit of a difference. The only question was, I've got these books, I'll ask my family what they thought of them. And my son-in-law was the first one to come up with a criticism. What do I do with my pen? And I thought, well, yes, that's a, a good question. And it made me think back to my childhood, where every Christmas you used to get a Let's Diary, which had a very thin pencil pushed down the spine. And I thought, well, surely I can do something like that. We can do something. Um, and I'll call it a dummy spine. And that is what we're aiming to do today. So we'll just clear the decks. Now, we all know we start off with the sewn book block, which we can do. We've got those already. A bit rough, but unfortunately that I've got a very large guillotine, so I can trim them to exactly the size I want. So we've got that. We then come on to the covers. I use, wherever possible, recycled cardboard. Um, I even go to the stage of laminating cereal packets together to make the covers. Covers, I have the spine, the same as the book, 5 sixteenths, and I use a quarter inch gutter for most books. Now, I have a lot of wood spacing for, the, for my letterpress, which is about two thou under a quarter of an inch, which I find good enough. Now, the other thing that I use, that I've got from my letterpress days, is rolls of linson tape. Now, I believe bookbinders call it bookbinding tape, but it's the same thing. Now, I've cut on this board a strip about 10 inches long, and I've pasted on it three more pieces of 5 sixteenths cardboard once again using the quarter inch gap now that is trial and error because you'll find you'll have to work out what size pen you intend to use because it all makes it difference so we've made our board with uh, craft paper which uh, i find now a couple of mail order companies are actually using it as packaging so We've got a free access to that. We need to put a piece of these lids and tape about three eighths of an inch wide just round the middle seam. I won't, I'm just putting this with a tack that's on the tape at the moment. I normally use PVA for everything, but it takes a bit of time to dry. So we've put that on there. The next stage is to put on the first edge of the tape with the spacing on. Now, I measure a line five eighths of an inch in from the corner and put the first edge down. Now, what I do at the same time is I cover the front court, front page. Now, recently I've noticed our library has been selling off some old picture books. And also our charity shop has started doing it as well. Um, and you, for a 50p book, you can get loads of photographs. Um, okay, that one's a, a railway. But there were some beautiful old maps, which I thought, well, yes, we could use that. Even our local newsletter produced something that you could use just to cover the front and back. Once the front is dry, we have to then do the same with the reverse to get our 5 sixteenths gap all the way down the spine so that eventually our pen pencil will go down there. 
that needs to be glued very well. Once we've finished that, it's a matter of slitting the Linson tape into four pieces, which have to be folded over individually and glued. And you can see now why you have to slit them. And then you can also see why you need the extra bit in the middle. Then end up with a cover like that. Once again, this is the old railway ones, plus a map. And it's just a matter then of attaching the book block in the normal way. And there you have your book. This is one I've done earlier with room to put your pen in and personalised with, because I've got the letterpress equipment here, you can put your pen or pencil in, whatever. Um, now I hope that does help you, but just before I go, I'll just give you a quick run round my workshop and you can see what we have. We have a plate maker for making polymer blocks. We have our homemade, possibly a bit crude book press, but it does work. Uh, my wonderful old guillotine, which is many, many years old. And lastly, but not least, my faithful old TP48 with homemade bench. Now, I hope you found this interesting and I welcome any comments and criticisms and above all, any shortcuts anyone can come up with. Until next time, bye.